weekends, the days of movies and chill. You grab your popcorn, open Netflix, and start to type. F R A N R. So long. Ah, let's pause it instead. Franker Quinner. Bruh, I have a better idea. Let's use these gadgets to leverage your search on any smart TV. I'm Lynn, your tech supporter, and let's get into the video. First off, why do I need to connect a mouse and keyboard to the smart TV? Well, as seen in the intro, fumbling with your remote, tapping word by word, and dealing with voice control hiccups are super annoying. But with the keyboard and the mouse follow, your searching process becomes not only quick but also precise. If you prefer a two-in-one solution, you can refer to the Logitech K600 TV keyboard. Its control experience is outstanding because it was built for a modern smart TV. I have attached the link in the description if you want to find out. Back to the point, there are two ways to connect your mouse and keyboard to a smart TV, using USB or F and Bluetooth. Just make sure that your smart TV supports both of them. Most modern TVs have them, but it's essential to confirm. For today's video, I'm gonna use the Logitech K380 keyboard and Daru Ergo wireless mouse for the demonstration. Okay, let's get started. Step 1. Activate your TV's Bluetooth. On the TV home screen, let's head to your TV's Bluetooth settings. In this Sony TV case, I hit the gear button to get into the Bluetooth settings or navigate from the home screen to Settings, Remote and Accessory, Pair Accessory. Step 2. Turn on Bluetooth mode on your device. With the Logitech K380 keyboard, turn on the device. Then, look for the pairing button. In this case, the pairing process starts by pressing and hold the F1, 2, or 3 button until the LED indicator lights up or flashes. Then, it's good to go. Step 3. Pairing. Now, it's time to pair your devices. In your TV's Bluetooth settings, select your keyboard and mouse from the list. Follow the connecting prompts. Like in my case, enter the pin code on the screen and press Enter. If you can't see them, refresh Bluetooth searching and ensure your devices are in pairing mode. With the USB RF mounts, pairing is straightforward. Just plug in the adapter to the USB port and turn on the mounts. Step 4. Testing. Give everything a quick test. From my experience, let's check for the essential buttons on your keyboard first, like home button, the volume, and of course, navigation. Some TVs and keyboards support incredible shortcuts as well. Like my K380 keyboard can open the search bar by tapping the window button. And if a pointer pops up on your TV screen, the mouse works. Let's try moving around and tap some spots on the screen. Some may work and some may not. Then, you will figure out how well your gadgets work with the TV. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros? Well, you won't need an extra wired device or hardware, and it works with most recent smart TV. And as I said, some devices also have shortcuts as well. This is really fascinating once you find them. With the mouse and keyboard, only typing and searching become more convenient, but the controlling experience in general is just super cool. If you get used to using the computer for most of the time, you know what I'm saying. Nevertheless, to compare with the IR Blaster Remote or wired control devices, there are cons like a bit more input lag. Initial setup can be a tad tricky, and Bluetooth can occasionally act up. To wrap things up, connecting a mouse and keyboard to your smart TV is straightforward, and it's a real game changer in terms of convenience. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to support our team. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!